Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 21 of my Ragnarok Season 2 Let's Play series. So, today I did want to just fix up this wall. Um, I'm just going to put some glass here to try and let some light in. Because I think that will add a little bit more to the base. I mean, I'd... if it wasn't so expensive, I'd be tempted to make like three more. And put them along the top, like this, maybe. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. And then we could, like, separate the lines and stuff if we wanted to. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's just put gun in. Let's see which one it is. Transfer gun. Command gun. Repair gun. Which one is it? To put in gun. I'm not seeing. Is it command gun? No. Where's the um? Is there a transparency? Transparency cycler. Okay. Transparency cycler. That one. Okay, there we go. Now, if I do this... I want... Yeah, two-way opacity update. This is not the gun that I need. I can't think of what the gun's called. There is a gun that means I can change stuff on the fly. Oh, it's the model gun. That's what it's called. Model. There we go. Alright. Now we try and get this working the way we want it to. So I want two sides. Uh, we just want to get rid of corner... I don't know whether I can even get it. Three sides. So, three sides C. And then... Three sides D. Uh, that's not right. There's one... We'll get it there eventually, where it should get rid of that edge, though. I want to get rid of that edge, though. Actually, you know what? We need this to be two sides. There we go. Okay. So this needs to be a three-sider in the corner, and then this one needs to be a two-sider. Okay, that'll work. It's it's not perfect, but I I like it. It just clears it up a little bit. Let some light in the base and stuff. It's not gonna do a whole hell of a lot, but it, it does, you know, at least make somewhat of a difference. I've got also the pillars to fix the, the front edge here so it doesn't look so damn stupid. If I actually put them on my hotbar, that is. And I also made a cycler hotkey to change the uh the gamma up and down. So I actually got that done. I'll snap that to that. Hopefully it hasn't clipped through. I can't I can't see. Unicorn, you just get in my way, you do. You really, really do. It clips through. Fuck it. Okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. That's the way I'm doing things. That's the way I'm going to do it. By the way, these are my skins because I died off camera. I loaded the game up and then forgot about it for like hours. So I kind of uh, just left it. All right, so I'm going to try and go down to your comments here. Okay, so I've got like culling comments from one of my videos mixed in with these. And if I try to sort them out the way I'm supposed to be able to, comments get lost. 
They don't show all of them, so I'm just going to do it this way so I don't lose any people's comments. All right. So, Connor Christensen said, love in the base. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, Shadow Pup 101 said, gotta love arc mechanics as long as a dino doesn't have a player on their back. They can't die or take fall damage. Yep, very realistic. Rainbow Gamers said, nice episode, bro. Very entertaining. Thank you. Seb Does Stuff said, you should do a face cam and also you should live stream. I've done those before. The face cam is probably not going to be coming to videos unless I get a green screen personally. Um, the live streams, eventually I'll be doing live streams randomly here and there again. Do GFI commands if you know what that is. I do not. Unless you meant like, I, I don't know. Control Alt Lama, yeah, that's a mile better, man. Whatever the deck that decor mod you had in your desert base se last season could spruce that house right up. Oh, and I want to keep a close eye out for the Giga. He doesn't care how grand your house is or how your dinos, or your dinos either. I've got to read people's sentences right. Sentences, sentences. <laughs> Where did all this come from? What is that all doing in here? Oh, it doesn't fit in the fridge. No, wait, it doesn't go in the fridge. Okay, all right, well, we can just do this then. All right, sweet. Because this has got to go right now. There we go. Get rid of that. All right. Uh, X Wolf, X Wolf X said, "Love your vids, but I prefer to watch you explore and progress rather than build for an entire episode." Yes, but I've got to. Sometimes building is like a part of Ark. Like you just got to do it. And I know a lot of people don't really like that necessarily, but that's just kind of the way it is. All right. Uh, you know what? We could go with the eco aberration mod. Let's see what that's like. Snow Axe Axius said, you got a new sub, great video, dude. Thank you, I appreciate it. Jake Edwards said, thank you for choosing Chucky. Lol, it's someone else suggesting that same name, but for the Gigantopithecus. I think it's quite enjoyable watching you build, rebuild your base. It kind of freshens the area up again, I agree. Oh, let's put that there. Uh, you know, I could probably put that closer to the wall. Uh, it kind of freshens up the area again, and as it and as inevitably you are often, you were there often can become a bit too familiar. Cheers for the episode today. I enjoyed it. You're still considering making a birdhouse? I think it's a nice idea, and it could look nice against the hill by your base. Yeah, that could be good right out here. I'd really preferably like to make it out of metal, but I just don't think I've got the uh the stuff to do that. Is there a way to get these out of folders? I don't really want folder view for this doesn't matter oh dude you can make like little little lamps and shit that's pretty cool mounts oh you just put those on the wall okay mushrooms plants i actually think the aberration like items from that pack were very nice looking i thought they did a great job with it large element rock is there a small element rock there is a small element rock how big is the small element rock? Rainbow Gamers, don't take this as offensive, but I watch your videos because they are fun to listen to and I play Ark on Xbox One and it's slow as heck. Dude, so many YouTubers I watch and that I just listen to their commentary. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's um, that's a bit bigger than that. I thought it would be. Maybe we'll just kind of... Hmm... Needs to look nice. Let's get it around like that. Yeah, it's something a bit different. Why not? All right. Uh, is there any other comments on the video? Nope, that is it. All right, thank you, everybody, for your comments. So, I guess... I'd like to get something tame today, but I have no idea really what do you what do you guys want to see me tame in future episodes because uh, the Highlands is kind of an interesting area in terms of getting tames because we're so far from everything. I mean, it's not like I can't travel, that's for damn sure. It's more the, the trip back that's kind of a pain if I can't pick it up with the RG. I'd like to get a griffin though, because then I think we could just easily knock out a Quetz and then we can basically carry most dinos back that we need. 
And you know what I think I should do? Is I think I should try and get an industrial grill. Because I need to cook meat. Somewhat efficiently. Somewhat fast. It is going to cost me all this. Do I have it? I do. Fuck yeah. And I've got gasoline on me, so that's no problem. Which I think I can even hook it up to power if I have this close enough to everything. So maybe if I stick it right next to the fridge. Alright, let's see. So we want to line this up with a flooring piece. I'm trying to find like a dead straight flooring piece. That looks pretty good. If I stop moving my mouse. Okay. I think it could go the slightest bit that way. Yeah, I think that's good. Why does that happen? What is up with that? What was what that? Why did it end up so far back? God damn it. Eight. Uh, we'll just do it like right up against me, basically. Okay, let's see. That is way off in terms of alignment. Oh, I know why, because I tabbed, I, t I switched to my first person view. There we go. Alrighty. Nice. So let's just chuck that in there. That's powered by the uh, the generator, which that should be fine on gasoline. We'll put more in there. And it should be good. Then we can get some meat. Uh, I'd like to try and go and check out a griffin today. I don't know how we'd go. We don't need a saddle for him, though. I probably really want to have darts. Now, how many darts do I have? 30. Um, I wouldn't mind more. And I mean, even a grinder would be a good thing to try and get. Because then we can make gunpowder at a much faster rate. But that is very expensive and probably unrealistic at the moment to think about getting. It's just probably not going to happen, so I probably should like let that dream go. Let that dream die. I do love the view out here though, it's nice. I need to get more windows around. And I think it would really spruce it up a lot. I think that's enough meat, honestly. Uh, we could try and fly over and get a griffin. I really want to be on something that I can shoot from. And unfortunately, you can't shoot from the argy. I can't think of anything that's going to not take 500 years to get over there on and that I could shoot from. I could shoot from a saber, I believe. You can shoot from a saber. If the thing flies up too high, I'm kind of screwed, though. Um, which could be a bit of an issue. I've got levels on you. Uh, movement speed. We could bump that up. I mean, I guess we could try, but it's a long run. Like, we're talking going all the way across the snow or around the dark biome and heading up. Pretty risky on this. I mean, I've done it on an RG before. It's more just trying to fucking track him is a bitch. Uh, let's bump up your movement speed. Alright, so we'll go slow-mo 10. And we'll head over to where Griffins are supposed to be. I'm probably going to try and avoid the snow biome because I will freeze just flying over here. Which kind of annoys me a little bit, but that's just what happens. And maybe... I don't want to get, like, a super duper low level. Like, I'd preferably love to get, like, 150s, but the chances of actually getting those are slim to fuck all, honestly, most of the time. Right, you get your stamina back, sweet. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to have to fly through the snow for a, a cunt hair of a moment. More or less. I don't really have a choice. Right through here. Freezing to death. Why is it so cold in Ark? I wish they would change that. So it's not so cold in Ark. Let's just put it on slow mo too, so I'm not super slow. Just while we look for a griffin, to even see if there's one around. Uh, let's also put the V-Sync command on. So, my frames stop skipping all the time. Okay. 
Now... I think the griffins I saw last time were... Over... Here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Dude, even with 120% movement speed and that, this guy doesn't feel very fast. Even on two times speed as well. Yeah, they were over here, so let's just go slow-mo fucking five. I know exactly where they were. They were up through this gap and around to the left. If my memory serves me correctly. We could try and down it like we down the RG on the island area. Whoa, this area is pretty slick. Slow-mo. Ah, oh, damn it. I wonder if there's a hotkey I could set up for this as well. That would be sweet. So there was an area we usually tried to pick griffins from, which I think, if I'm correct, was down that way. Um, but issue is Giga's spawn there as well, so we're taking a big risk by doing that too. I don't really feel like getting munched on by a Giga today, if I can help it. That would annoy me quite a bit. I was actually very worried when I died off camera and I respawn. What the fuck is. Oh, Titan Manera. Um, and I respawn and I actually, like, didn't know whether my stuff was gonna be still be there. Because I thought it might have disappeared by that point. Which would have sucked. Like, I literally loaded the game to go record, and then I think we went out, and I completely forgot I was even doing that. So that could have been very, very, very bad. I'm not even in the right area for him now. There's a Kano there. Is there any beavers around here? There is beavers around here. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting a beaver, actually. Let's see. 20... 100. 100 good. 50. If your wings would stop getting in my way, that would be more helpful. But there's a couple hundos in there. Definitely a couple level 100s. A 150. That's my boy right there. Which one is it? It's... That one right there. Okay. Here we go. No. I need to put this shit away. You are my main man right here. Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. Gonna get ourselves a 150 beaveroni. Beaveroni baloney. Man, we need to come here and steal for some beaver dams. We're gonna take, bring the saber over here and just fuck shit up. That's what we gotta do. Get a bunch of cementing paste and stuff. Slow-mo, 10. I'm hoping I have the stamina to fly this guy back to base. I don't really want to take him too close to the wyvern den. Because those things will fuck my butt real quick. So I've just got to keep an eye out for it. I'm going to fly kind of into the snow biome. To hopefully avoid that from happening. Just head around the loop. Around the outside edge. There we go. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. This guy can't fit out the taming pen, right? I should be able to knock him in there, I'm pretty sure. There we go. He's not even mad. Until I shoot him in the face with the fucking drink dart any second now. Okay, we need to go around and make sure every motherfucker is on passive. Everybody, even absolute unit. Definitely needs to be on passive. Let's go. Let's passive it up. Passive, 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 passive. There we go. Move the Tyranodon out of the way before he gets stomped by the beaver. And then... You know what? This is still more powerful, so I still want to keep using the crossbow. Oh. Oh, you an angry boy? Oh. What? Oh, it hit the edge there. What the hell is that shit? There we go. Whoa! Phone, shut up. Would you stop attacking my stuff? That's just very rude of you, to be honest. I'm not very happy at all. You need to just cut that shit out, dude. 
Whoa. What's up, dude? Oh, and you're unconscious. Damn. All right, let's do this. Uh, some vegetables. I've got mejos on me, but I would prefer to use veggies. Just for that slightly higher tame uh, boost. I guess speed of the tame. There we go. You can eat some corn. Good boy, you got the teeth to eat some corn. You've definitely got the teeth for it. God damn. Look at your teeth. They're all a corner needed. <laughs> okay. Alright, now we just gotta wait for this guy to tame out. Uh, in that time, I might just go see if I can make a Bivariva saddle. Because we're gonna need one. That's for sure. Uh, beaver. Oh, well, I guess it's a cast. Yeah, a castroid. Cast a steroid saddle. Oh, I should put that in anyway, actually. Come on. Take your time. Anytime, 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 anytime. Hey. Nice. Nice. And also, let's just make, like, some shit in here for a minute. A uh, large mangrove tree. Purple luma tree. Large luma tree. Let's see what that looks like. It's gonna be fucking huge. It's gonna be huge there, bud. Isn't it? Oh, it's gonna be very huge. Holy shit. Very, oh, that's, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's kind of very nice. I like that a lot. Alright, yeah, sorry about that. My daughter walked in. Yeah, that looks very nice. Look at that. We can see under the map. What do you see? I don't know what that is over there. Wow. That looks kind of cool. Adds something a bit odd to the base, but I like it. I actually like the back of this a lot more now that I've done that as well. How's your taming going, little buddy? 17%. Well, we can continue to do a bit of decoration while we're waiting. I mean, I could speed it up, but why not just do something a little bit different? Uh, Luma Blossoms. Lo what is this? Large Luma Tree. What is this one, then? What did I get? Large Purple Luma... Oh, okay. Tree Bunch. Small Redwood Tree. Large Redwood Tree. What if we just grabbed a couple of these and just... Oh, okay, we don't have enough anyway. We've ran out of wood. Holy fuck. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh my god. Holy shit. Doesn't really fit the area unless we get multiple going, does it? In all honesty, but I mean, that, that, that could be viable in the future. Well, wow. You know what? I really like the Luma Tree, though. I think that fits in quite nicely, actually. Let's get the brightness up for a second. I just like playing with that. That's so good that I can do that now. Thank you, people, for the uh, lengthy comment section for the advice on that. I might need, actually, some goddamn stimulants. Cause this, well, not stimulants, but narcos, because this guy might wake up if I'm not careful. Where would they be? In all honesty, I don't know. There we go. I don't think he will, but there's a possible chance with how quickly his torpor is going down that he still could. Which is crazy to me, but you know. It happens. Uh, so let's just stim him up a little bit. There we go. And now let's just go slow mo 5 and just get this tame sped up quite a bit. Man, you tame slow. 
It's gonna be dark. This is gonna look really cool at dark, though. Or at night, should I say. At dark sounds just stupid. It's gonna look really cool at dark. How's the trough going? Ah, oh, we still got stuff in there. That's good. We still got basically everything we need for that. Oops. So, of course, I'm gonna need a name for this guy. Man, you dropped Torpor real quick. You really do. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. That looks really nice. Ran a redwood tree in the background. Something a bit different. Like I said, if we was able to get a few of those around, I think these could look really nice around here. And I'm no design or creative expert either. Like, I'm pretty bad at, you know, creativity really. But yeah. Nice. We got this big boy. Slow mo one. Can you won't be able to fit out the door, so we're gonna have to grab you. Uh, let's just do this as well. There we go. I actually wanted to just leave it dark so I could like look at the tree in the darkness properly. Have I picked you up? No. If you would stop moving, I'd be able to. There we go. Let's just get you out and then do that. Sorry, my partner's telling our kids off. All right. You're following me, and I want you to follow me. I want you to have a saddle. How quick are you? Damn, you're pretty quick, bud. You go all right, man. Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy, speedy Gonzalez. Let's go. Let's go. So what's your stat arena is like? 3,500 health, 648 stamina. That's turds, but you know. 534 weight, 327 melee damage, and 279.3% movement speed. Okay. Not the worst. Could definitely be better, though. Stam is trash. But nice 150 beaver is what we need. So, anyway, guys and girls, I think that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Ark Survival Evolved videos in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.